Adam's answers. Hey everybody. I don't know if you know this or not, but part of my job is to travel around and tell stories to people. I have with me today an awesome friend who's an awesome storyteller. Say hello to the good people, Jonas. Hi. All right, so I thought it would be super fun today, since we're both storytellers, if we came up with an awesome story right here, sitting on these stools. Brand new, never before heard in the universe. Hmm. Yeah, good news is I can think of that in a few minutes. It depends. Sometimes I get it, I um, get inspired by um, some movies and I make something like that, except totally a different thing. You and me both, muchacho. I have a special surprise. A uh, hat, anyone? Anyone hats? Huh? I'll take a hat. Oh my friends. gosh. Thanks, Cousin Aaron. Thank you. All right. We've got our hats. We're ready to go. Okay. You start us off with Once Upon a Time. All right. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom named Robus. It was, um, the king was a King Adam, and one day, one of his fellow friends in another kingdom needed help, so he had to leave, leave um, his own kingdom. Wow, his, um, royal sorcerer named Carrick, he gave him a special little crystal that is powerful enough to open the cave that will lead you, lead you to the wand, and whoever is able to control that wand will be able to be the greatest sorcerer in the world. Okay, okay, great. So King Adam took the crystal from Carrick and went off towards the place where his friend was in need of help. On his way, he saw that there were eight caves right in a row, and he didn't know which cave the crystal would open. So he went up to the first cave, nothing. He went up to the second cave, nothing. But when he went up to the third cave, King Adam, right there, smack dab in the middle of Robus, discovered... He discovered a whole cave filled with this cool creature called omelins. They're kind of like some kind of creature that looks kind of like a monkey and an elf mixed together. There are two kinds. One can shapeshift and one can change color by feeling. Oh, wow. Okay, so King Adam is there in front of the omelins. Then they took Adam, King Adam by the hand, and King Adam was following the omelins. Omelins, right? Yeah. yeah, and the omelets, and they came down this long corridor in the cave where they discovered... They discovered a ginormous cage. They were in the lair of a ginormous ancient dragon. They were right now in the underworld where most of the evil villains were cursed. And if you're cursed, a portal goes up, throws chains at you, and pulls you in there. You stay there for f um, 59 long years with nothing but you sitting in darkness alone. And um, yeah, they had, and the only way they can get past is getting past the guardian of all the prisons, a ginormous dragon. Wow. Well, just at that moment, the dragon saw all of the omelins and King Adam coming towards them and was convinced that they were all evil villains. So instantly, chains came shooting out at them and they were all chained together for 59 long years. Well, they stayed like that, well, apparently only for 11 years because someone came to the rescue. He, um, Carrick, brought a little um, young um, person named John. He went around and then suddenly when the king saw uh, that man, he realized that's the guy who can hold the wand. He may have been only 11 year old, but still, he was still um, the perfect person. It's kind of like um, Arthur, King Arthur, pulling out the sword of the stone, something like that. But he was 11, which is awesome, because kids can do anything. Well, Adam and the Omelins were so happy and so thankful that they didn't have to spend any more years in those chains with the dragon. Well, King Adam hurried, said goodbye to the Omelins, and went with Carrick, and they raced. They got some chicken noodle soup from the corner mart, and they made it to where Adam's friend was much better by now, but still happy to get the soup. And they all lived happily ever after. 
For more Adam's Answers, it's here. And also, please become one of our awesome subscribers. Don't miss a single Adam's Answers moment. And also, next week, there's gonna be our Adam's Answers website going live, live, live. 